Well, it sure beats the last time I was up here in a regional tournament. I thought we'd never have a chance to, to play one out. It rained, and then lightning delay, and then lightning delay, and then rain. But I'll uh, always remember that, because that was the year that Ron Pope left after winning and going to Omaha. He turned around and left and went to, back to Mississippi State. But it's, uh, there's just something about that that makes the University of Georgia special. I mean, 1785, holy mackerel. I'm, I'm not a historian, but that's a long time ago. <laughs> it beats our 1946, I believe, when we, when, when we were a women's school, that's right. So you don't mind the 95, uh, as long as you're playing, 95 degrees? You know, I really don't. It, it's it's something that the heat has not ever affected our team. It's just something that you expect. <laughs> I was beginning to wonder if we were ever going to have any of it during the big middle of the year. But you now the heat and the heat won't bother any of these young men from on all the teams because of the excitement that heck we're all experiencing. What do you recall again for those things you were here for the Super Regionals here in Athens? What do you remember about the atmosphere here at Foley Field? I just remember the fans being so cordial. and I mean, certainly they're, they're Georgia Bulldogs, but they were so classy the way they went about their business. It was, a, it was an outstanding tournament. We uh, played decent so-called baseball, had a couple of chances. You got to credit the other team. They got us out in key situations. How critical can winning the opener be in a regional? Well, there's no doubt. It's 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 a very important game. Any, any time to out. So what you still, you're not out of the tournament. Well, you're not out of the tournament, but you show bud behind the eight ball. And we just got to, to do the little things just battle, and I know that John McCormick's team is a bunch of battlers. They're gonna, they're gonna come after you and play hard. And we've got to, to match their enthusiasm. What about the field as a whole? The other two teams, Mercer and Georgia, also went well. Very strong field, I think. Uh, University of Georgia deserved exactly where they were seated. Uh, heck, it could have been, I mean, one or two higher, and nobody could be in front of them. But it was it's quite an accomplishment for them in the tough league that they played in to be where they are. Uh, I believe that uh, John McCormick's team was 22 and 18 in Conference USA. And of course, we played Craig Gibson and his team early in the year. We knew they were going to be good. Little did I know that we would turn around and be in the same regional with them. It's just one of those. Regionals, it, there are some outstanding teams all over this country, and there are four teams here that obviously are excited to be competing. It's a little more time to reflect now. I mean, what's it mean knowing whatever happens this weekend? I mean, you'll finish with 40 and similar tournament appearances in four years. It really means something to, to us as a team, as a family, because it's it's difficult. It gets tougher every year to be a regional team. And it means that we gotta work that much harder next year. And I'm just very pleased with the young men who battled, went through some difficult series, some difficult setbacks, but yet they kept battling and now we've got a chance along with 63 other teams. Has your team seemed any different to you this week in preparation, maybe looser, sense of pressures off with making the tournament? No, I think it's uh, some anxiousness in some of the guys with the professional draft not that far away. Uh, I wish we could find another date which that would fall on. But Anybody in their right mind that says a player is not going to think anything about the draft, 
when they're expected to be drafted in such and such a round. And they'll have that in the back of their mind. Let's just hope that they don't do something out of the ordinary, which would affect the outcome of the game. I think you guys might like being on the road for regional. Obviously, it's the first time doing this for everybody. Um, is there maybe a change in mindset or a change in your enthusiasm, or just having a change of scene that can be positive? Well, when you go on the road for a regional, there's, there's no doubt that the home team has the advantage. I mean, we know because we, we've, we've been blessed to host regionals. But you still got to just be of the same attitude that you have been all year long, and that's go out there and make the other team beat you. Don't beat yourself, and that's what we're hoping that we can do is just make the other team beat us. Is it more real now that it's kind of coming to an end, you know, for you? Uh, you know, obviously you don't want it to end this weekend, but. Well, I, I would have to say, yeah, I, I know that this is so-called end of the line. I just, like you said, I just want to extend it as long as we can. Let's go one more for Coach here. Okay.